Right, hello there, and welcome back to Gauntlet Dark Legacy. I was just fiddling around with the audio because it's a pain in the ass with my mouse, so. What's up, Barker? How's it going? Congrats on the affiliate shit, by the way. Uh, remind me to give you a shout later when there's actually people in chat besides you, alright? And I'll be happy to do so accordingly. I'm proud of you. So, uh, yeah, welcome to being a Twitch affiliate, where you think it's really amazing, and it is kind of amazing, but it's not as amazing as you think it is. It is cool, though, because now people can give you bits and subscribe and do all that cool shit, so that's kind of nice. Yeah, so we're entering the Forest Realm today, and the Forest Realm is a little bit interesting. It's pretty cool. I really like this, uh, jungle kind of, um, uh, playground kind of thing we're working with. So, uh, yeah, a lot of the Forest Realm is trees and wood creatures and weird, like, crocodile things, and then, um, weird acid swamps and all sorts of fun stuff, so yeah. But I didn't feel like I earned it. Why don't you feel like you earned it? Of course you earned it, dude. If I earned it, you earned it. You earned it just as much as I did, if not more so. Like, it took me a while to get to Affiliate. I had help from people like Kay Witty and, like, people like Swilla and Lethal and stuff hosting me, and that's the only reason I got Affiliate as quick as I did. At least I'm pretty sure that's what it was. Of course, I put a ton of time into it as well, but... Oh yeah, we have spiders in this map, so oh joy. Um, so I did what I was going to, uh, do. That I said, uh, I was going to, uh, go and farm off-screen a little bit and grind a little. And, uh, that's kind of what I've done. So, I have pretty high health, and I have a few items, and I got a few levels, and stuff like that, but it's, it's not honestly going to make that much of a difference. It's more so for health than anything else. You mean you got affiliate, but I feel like it was given to me? It wasn't given to you, trust me. I felt like that as well, when I first got mine. And then I was really happy that I got it, and then I was like, you know what, I should feel a little bit proud of myself, because I feel like I did put some hard effort into this, and I definitely, like, spent some time doing stuff. How's your day going, by the way? Also, sorry if I take a while to respond. I'm on mobile. No problem. I know how mobile is. I was, uh, watching Lethal play, uh, Remnant from the Ashes last night, and I was on mobile, and it was a pain in the ass. And, uh, apparently Lethal really fucking hates that game. He says it's, like, really garbage. Like, apparently all the bosses are shit. I mean, I've heard nothing but good things about it, but Lethal's very critical, because he holds everything to a really high standard, and I don't blame him for it. But, uh, I don't know, it looks like a fun game. It's probably like Dark Souls 2, where it, like, plays different than it looks. And, uh, if that's the case, I can totally understand. But I'm hoping we can make it through the Forest Realm today. Like, all the Forest Realm, and then all of the Ice Realm, and then... We might even be able to make it through the Ice World and the Dream World, but I'm not sure. And then, uh, tomorrow I'm probably going to do the final part of the game, which will include all the Battlefield stuff, and then after the Battlefield stuff we have to go to the Desecrated Temple. And then uh, do all that fun stuff. And then uh, not to spoil anything after that, because it gets a little bit ridiculous in that way. It gets a little bit, uh, a little bit unique and strange from there on. I wish these spiders would fuck off. I really am not a fan of spiders. Please give me that pineapple. Thank you very much. Don't give me that explosive barrel, man. I don't like that too much. Did I really burn through like five potions already? Jesus. That sucks. Day was good, I got my current job done and got paid in cash. Nice, that's, that's pretty sick. I wish I got paid in cash. Whenever I've had a job, I always got paid bi-weekly, so I had to wait for my money, which was a pain in the ass. Not that I needed to spend money on anything at the time, but it was still annoying when I knew I had money available that I'd earned and I couldn't get it yet. Because uh, having a job sucks. It's just another way for the man to keep you down. Have I been on here yet? Yeah, I've been on here. Then how do I progress? I am confused. I am super confused. I have no idea where to go. Oh, I must have to raise that, but how do I raise that? Because I would have to get on there to be able to do that, so that doesn't make any sense. So I must have to come back this way for some reason. Yeah, nice try. Pressure sensitive log traps. Oh, here we go. Maybe where uh, all the nasties are coming from is the correct way to go. Just by chance. Fuck off, spiders. Literally got paid in only fives after a two week, 40 hour week job. Damn. You were working full time? I was only working part time, really. 
I've only ever worked part-time. Um, I've never had a full-time position. I don't think I'd be able to handle the stress that would come with it. Um, dealing, like, it depends on the kind of job. Like, if I'm working in a warehouse or something like that, I could work, like, eight hours a day, no problem. If I was moving heavy stuff, I could work eight hours a day, no problem. But if I'm dealing with customer service, like, having to talk to people, I wouldn't be able to do that for, like, eight hours a day. That'd be a pain in the ass. You know what else is a pain in the ass? Fucking gargoyles. Gargoyles suck a little bit. Oh, nice job, dickhead. Okay, good fuck. Ouch. Maybe not shoot lightning balls at me, please. Very, uh, unkind. Not very considerate of you. Although he is a giant, like, spotty black demon gargoyle thing, so he probably doesn't give a fuck. Please die. Please die. Please die. Oh, also I went back to that other level um, that I missed the runestone in, and I went back and got it, and I felt like such a fucking idiot, because you know what it was. It's, uh, behind where the meal was, all I had to do was break that wall and pick up the runestone, and it was literally, like, right there. So, uh, I feel like an idiot, because I really didn't have to go back and redo that level. I could have gotten it at any time, really. And I just didn't know any better, because I haven't played this game in so long, so I didn't know exactly where it was. Game is a bit loud, by the way. Uh, three percent should be alright, I think. I'll turn it down to two here in a second when I get a chance, but... Fucking spiders, Jesus. No regard for the public, that's what I hate about spiders. Assholes. But if it's a bit loud, it shouldn't be. I've left it at the same, uh... Audio that it is usually at all the time, so... Oh, come on, you fuck. Oh, I can just do it with the wheelie cursor. I wish they would tell you that. There we go. Is that a bit better? That should hopefully be a little bit better. Thank you, by the way. Fucking bomb dickhead. Guarding my yellow crystal. Give me my yellow crystal, prick. It's my yellow crystal. What is an enemy gonna do with a yellow crystal that's meant for me? Nothing. Ouch. Ouch. Okay, well that's me cleft in twain, so uh, that's gonna hinder uh, the quickness of my progression, I believe. I'm only gonna get half the progress because I'm cut in half, get it? Yeah. More spiders? Brilliant. And I don't have any potions to kill giant groups of enemies. Fuck. Dude, I know it's a foresty swamp, but do you really need this many spiders? Do you? Do you stay up there and dance, you big prick? You want to hear 100%? I'll do 100% for a minute if you want to hear 100%, I will. Don't test me, I will do it. Probably shouldn't, but I will. Just because you'd hate to hear it. Am I gonna get whipped by this tentacle with thorns? No, I'm not. Brilliant. Hey, Sin, not from here. Great bounty is unseen. Alright. Uh, you mean like that? Get fucked, game. 200 IQ, thank you very much. I didn't even know that was there, really. Kind of want to see how loud it is. I kind of don't. That would fuck my ears, and I've had a migraine for the past two days, so that probably wouldn't be a very smart idea. I was just kind of playing chicken with you to see who would back out first, and of course it's me, because I don't want to ease on my migraine a little bit. Get fucked, boys. Break your little wood house. Oh, great. He's a brick. Da -na -na -na. House. Could you stop? Could you stop? Could I get out of here, please? Dude, you fucking cheater! Fuck you, bro. Bruh. Let me get the fuck out of here, fam. Okay, you, you, you want to be like that? Okay. Get all big on your ass, how about that? You want to play Rock'em Sock'em Robots? We'll play Rock'em Sock'em Robots, pal. That's cool. That's cool. Yeah, fuck off. Yeah, it was heroic. It was the only option I had, because he was boxing me in like a cheating prick. It's the only thing I could do, really. Summoner. Maybe if you pop in here and help me with your wizardy magic, dickhead. 
At least I'm a sexy chicken. That's cool. Also, it's really hot outside, so I'm really sweaty and uncomfortable, which sucks. I shouldn't have opened that gate until I killed all these idiots. It's my fault. Should have been a little bit smarter than that, but I don't have a reputation for being smart. That's why I'm a streamer on Twitch. More yellow crystals? Brilliant. Hopefully I don't get a uh, police search here in a minute. Because they're going to find all these yellow crystals. It might be contraband. Might get in trouble with the police for that. Nice. Could always use more gold. More gold never hurt anybody, except celebrities that end up getting divorces. Then gold kind of hurts. It's cold outside where you live? Shit, sign me up. I'm waiting for winter, man. I love the winter. Because, like... Okay, the thing I hate about summer, you cannot dress for summer. You kinda just have to put up with summer heat, and there's nothing you can really do about it. But winter you can dress for, and, like, kind of battle against the cold a little bit. But summer you can't do shit about it, and it sucks, and I hate it. 60 degrees? That's not too bad. Well, 60 degrees is cold to you? Cold to me is like maybe 40. Maybe like 45 is cold to me. 60 degrees is just like, okay, this is comfortable weather. Anything above 65 is kind of like, fuck off, because I hate the sun. We're not on good terms. I walked right through that spiky plant. Oh, cheers, dude. You like that, Chappie? Get fucked, dude. Even though I'm the one on the floor. Yeah, Nightbot's really nice, isn't it? I wouldn't call people sexy, but that's Nightbot's job. Oh, shit. Okay, I'm not going through the exit yet, because I know there's more treats to be had, and I'm not leaving without those treats, because I'm a greedy bitch. Yeah, Summer, you can only get so naked, yeah. Otherwise, uh, it's frowned upon by police and, uh, other people walking around. Yeah, 60 degrees is cold for summer, I do agree on that. 60 degrees is definitely cold for summer. Nice fried chicken, that'll always help. Anytime you're feeling depressed, fried chicken. Anytime your boyfriend is giving you trouble or you don't know how to talk to that guy that you are, uh, having the hots for, yeah, just eat some fried chicken. That'll make you feel entirely better. Has it really taken me about 20 minutes to get through one fucking level? Jesus. That's rough. Yeah, you're not debating me, you stupid fucking poison vents. Whatever the hell those are. Green fire? I think green fire would be a little bit worse than poison. Poison you could probably counteract with some sort of, like, toxin. But green fire I don't think you'd be able to do very much about. Unfortunately. It's good to hear that your day's going well. What do you do for work, by the way? If I, if I can ask. Because I know some people don't like talking about it. It's like some people don't feel comfortable giving their age on Twitch, and I totally understand that, too. Because you can't really trust anybody, can you? Everybody might be a creeper, so... You don't want people hitting up your DMs. That's one evil looking tree. That's a scary tree. Also, I never really noticed this before, but I love how the game spoils you on what the bosses are before you even get the chance to get to them. I'm in Minnesota, so 60 degrees is absolutely not cold. I see. I've never been to Minnesota. I've been to Idaho, I've been to Oregon, I've been to California, I've been to West Virginia, and uh, I think I've been one other place, but I can't remember where. And uh, those are all the places I've been to. State-wise. That was an heroic effort. Although, uh, Disney World is in California, right? Or Disneyland is in California, so I think, honestly, like, outside of Florida and, uh, California, Disney World and Disneyland, respectively, should, uh, be classified as their own states. Like, legally, I think they should make them their own states. Yeah, could you boys fuck off, please? I have a giant eagle that shoots lightning in my face to contend with here. Please don't do that. It's 
very rude. Please die. At least the spider is uh, being respectful and minding his own business, he says. As it comes towards me with malicious intent. Please go fuck yourself. Sometime this year? Jesus Christ. There we go, we have 19 out of 20 feathers. Ooh, damn, holy shit, that's a lot of health right there. It's like 200 health, Jesus. Oh yeah, I'll take that. That basically makes up for all the uh, health the eagle robbed off me. So that's nice, I guess. Don't. Arrows and bombs, dude. Wow, they're packing, aren't they? You're full time sometimes. My father works as a contractor and I help him out sometimes. I was working on a roof with heavy storm damage for the last two weeks. I don't know how to do anything like that. Yeah, I've been to West Virginia. Um, I have some family that lives over there and uh, we were visiting them once. And uh, it, it was kind of nice, but it kind of sucked at the same time. Because, uh, like... I don't want to say, like, my aunt is a person who doesn't believe in electricity, but, like, it's not very prevalent in their house, you know what I mean? So it's like, it was basically, um... Chilling there for two days, playing Zelda on my cousin's Nintendo DS, and uh, that was pretty much it. Because uh, I had nothing better to do. Although there was a pool, like, right across from her house, but, like, all the girls in West Virginia are fugly as shit, or they sound really weird, so the pool wasn't really worth going to. Because, uh, if people don't know this, I'm a complete womanizer, and that's totally fine. And I'll admit that. I can't help but like the ladies. So the pool is kind of, like, not really an option. I mean, like, I could have gone to the pool and just swam, but... Like, I, I don't mind the water, but I'm not exactly, like, particularly fond of the water either, if that makes sense. Like, I don't mind it, but I don't particularly like it either. Like, I can go to the beach if it's cool outside. I like the beach. The beach is nice, especially when there's nobody else around to bother you and you just get to, like, take in, like, the air and, like, the atmosphere of being close to the beach and, like, hearing the water and stuff like that. It's really nice and comforting, but... Fuck off, dude. I've not seen such bravery. Not seem much stupidity, more like. On the pathways ahead, choose carefully what you unlock. Well, how many keys do I have? Six? I'll be alright. Six keys? That's six keys. West Virginia is very pretty, but electricity and Wi-Fi are rare. Yeah, exactly. Um, also the June bugs fucking suck. The June bugs are terrible. They're like these giant beetles that like like at first they're kind of cool because you've never seen one before. And then, um, they start flying into your face and, like, knocking you on the forehead, and then they kind of get annoying. Like, really fast. Also, the, uh, fireflies at night are really nice as well. Because you get a lot of fireflies over there in West Virginia, and it's pretty sick. Yeah, I'm big into that, Yuri, exactly. Yeah, choose carefully what you unlock, because one of the gates might have a giant, uh, blue... Jurassic motherfucker behind it. That I'm gonna try and possibly cheese from a distance, because I'm a cheater. Okay, I can kill him from here, but it's gonna take quite a while. Unless I do this. Take out all those guys, too. Alright, so if I can keep from having to go through that gate and get my face pounded in by this giant fucking, uh... Dinosaur-looking dude. That'd be nice. Nice loincloth, though. It's very, uh, fashionable. Looks very Native American, so I don't know why a dinosaur would be wearing a Native American blanket loincloth. That's a little bit rude. Please die. It's hard to make up comedic material on the spot while you're trying to fight just one dude. Thank you. At least he had some courtesy for me. Oh, and he dropped me a keyring. Nice. Keyring's also very courteous. I love keyrings. I don't love giant saw blades to the face, so if I could possibly avoid that, that'd be nice. Careful. Wait, can I not pick up the keyring? Oh, I have max keys. Shit. That's probably why I can't pick it up. Okay, well, I can go across here. What does this do for me? Oh, yeah, I need that. That's the runestone, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, I remember. I remember this runestone because it looks like the monster logo for uh, 
the uh, soft drink. No, it's an energy drink, isn't it, right? Even though they don't give you energy, they kind of, like, wear you out after a while. Like, you drink them, you're like, oh, this is nice, kind of. And then, like, after two hours, you're just fucked. That's why I don't drink energy drinks. I'm just, like, caffeinated all the time, because all I drink is soda, pretty much. Soda and water, and that's it. Which probably isn't very healthy for me, but whatever. It's not like ever I've ever been really much of a health nut anyway, so it doesn't really make a difference, honestly. That's what I raised. Full of gold, nice. I feel so bad for abandoning all these keys. There's like three or four keys there that could use a loving home, and I'm just running past them. That tentacle needs a loving home, that's why it just smacked me in the ass. Hello there, sir. Uh, that was nowhere near me, dude. That was a Dark Souls hitbox if I've ever seen one. He swung to my right hand side and it was nowhere near me and it hit me. Okay. Could you hit the target? Thanks, pal. Come on, you orange demons. Whatever the fuck you are. Alligator men? I don't know. Probably like lizard people. I have no idea what the fuck they are. So I think each of the realms does have like some sort of like weird story to it. Like the uh, the first area, like the kind of weird poison toxic place. Uh, everybody got like turned into zombies or something. I don't know why. Maybe they were like part of the lich's army. I have no idea how that is. And then uh, there's the acid place with like the um. Uh, mist that turned everybody into mutants or whatever, I think. Oh god, these guys are really big. Where's my prize from the golem? No, I killed the golem, I deserve a prize. Give me some food or something. If only life was like that. Imagine go out, like, barbarian style and just slaughtering the fuck out of everything in your path and then getting paid for it and then, like, having food and shit just drop randomly from enemies. That'd be pretty sick. Maybe I would actually go outside. Just go outside, it's like, honey, don't forget your giant mace. It's like, oh yeah, thanks. And then you just go outside and beat the fuck out of everything. And then you get money for it. That'd be pretty nice. Do I have anti-death? Oh, fuck off, death. You're nowhere even near me. Prick. Quickly! Dickhead! Thanks, game. Fuck you. Death, you fucking asshole. Death, you fucking prick. Yeah, I know what death does, asshole. I was trying to get him to fuck off. I was trying to get him stuck on the wall, but the game wouldn't let me because there's fucking 35 enemies. So there's this thing that you can do with death where you can kind of fuck up his AI. And uh, the pathing isn't very great, so you can guide... Like, he always chooses the path that's like will get to you the quickest, so you can kind of get him stuck on walls sometimes and just ignore him entirely. And, uh, get him stuck, and then it doesn't matter. Or you can just use a potion and kill him. But, um, I don't have anti-death for some reason, even though I'm pretty sure I picked some up, so that's unfortunate. Good shit. I can't help but notice how you don't stab the fucking orange dude with the dynamite barrel terrorist guy, but you don't mind stabbing me. That's cool. Thanks for that. Yeah, search carefully at the next bend. There's like 50,000 spiders. Good luck. Yeah, thanks. Worth it. Totally worth. Maybe not. What? That's what I thought. Oh, nice. The portal out of here is into the mouth of the evil tree. Great. That's comforting. Imagine going outside in 2019. Yeah, who does that anymore, right? Why go outside and socialize when you can just stay inside and play video games? Fuck you, lizard people. Have you ever seen this game before, by the way, Barker? I don't know if you have. It's, a, uh, it's really cool. It's like a classic arcade like, hack and slash, kind of. Don't blow up my gold, you prick. Good boy. I'll take my junk. Thanks much. Ooh, more gold. Fuck me, dude. Hell yeah, this level's full of gold. Damn. I don't know how I feel about the uh, Native American chanting music, though, just because it's a foresty realm. 
I feel like that's a little bit racist. Although they are lizard men, so uh, maybe it's not racist. Maybe it's specious. Who knows? Literally never heard of this game in my life. It's fucking great. I played this game all the time as a child. It was awesome. So it's basically like what the story is, is uh, there's an evil mage, he summons a demon, uh, the demon kills him and basically like takes over the land or whatever and uh, conquers all these realms and then spreads his minions everywhere and then you gotta fight through his minions and uh, defeat his guardians which are the bosses of each realm. And then uh, you get these shards and then you use the shards to restore the entrance to a temple where Scorn is hiding, the name of the demon, right? And then uh, you fight Scorn. I don't know why, but there's a dog, like, barking maniacally outside, and I have no idea what's going on. It's weird. Okay, so I got the runestone, so I don't have to go do that level again, thank Christ. 481 kills, fuck me, that's a lot. Damn right, I have 700 strength, look at that, ladies. I need keys. Seven keys, that should be alright. Get a little bit of health, just to keep topped up. Played so much Zelda as a child, I'm super bad at Zelda, so I never used to complete them. You should go back and play them if you haven't. I just finished Master Quest not too long ago. And uh, Master Quest was really fun. Irritating at points. Especially uh, Shadow Link. Shadow Link was fucking dog shit. Because he hacks, but... What is that menu music? Oh, it's just the gauntlet menu music. That's kind of how gauntlet is. Uh, there was a very recent gauntlet. It was like made in 2017, I want to say. It was really trash. I miss like the kind of linear gauntlets like this where you like travel through a whole bunch of levels and then you uh, fight a boss and then you go on to the next realm. I miss gauntlets like this. Because this is basically like a remake of the uh, N64 gauntlet. Oh yeah, by the way, now we get evil tree people. So uh, yeah cool, right? Yeah, fuck the rainforest. Die. You evil tree bastards. Really need to play them again and actually beat them? Yeah, you certainly do. Uh, Skyward Sword is kind of interesting. Uh, I don't think the temples are super great, but uh, the game itself is pretty neat as a premise. Uh, there's an annoying boss that you gotta fight like three separate times, which is kind of dog shit. Uh, Twilight Princess, I highly recommend. Majora's Mask, you should definitely play. Because I think Majora's Mask is probably the best Zelda. Um, for creativity-wise. Like, for all the temples, it's probably the best one. Uh, Wind Waker, I highly recommend, although it's a little bit tedious going across the ocean all the time. And, uh, Ocarina of Time is probably regarded as everybody's favorite Zelda, I think. If you actually never played Skyward Sword, yeah, my buddy had a Wii. And, uh, I played it on his Wii and I beat it. And, uh, it was kind of cool and kind of stupid. Uh, the motion controls made certain things really, really complicated and annoying sometimes. Which sucked a little. Thanks, level design, for, uh, letting me, uh, shoot my special all the way across the stage. Yeah, so of course there's the end of the map, but we're not gonna be able to get there for, like, another ten minutes at least, so. Yeah, fun. Thank you, uh, Vent of Poison Gas. Cheers for that. What's up, boyo? How you doing? Welcome. Doing Majora's Mask now? Yeah, Majora's Mask is great, dude. I haven't met a single person that doesn't like Majora's Mask. And, uh, if you don't like Majora's Mask, you're lying to yourself and you need, a a psychiatrist to tell you how wrong you are. And you need to go back and replay that game, because it's actually the best Zelda out there. Also, by the way, I figured I should mention, uh, just because I beat Ocarina of Time doesn't mean I'm gonna play all the Zeldas. So, uh, yeah. Like, if you were a fan of Zelda, like, I'm probably not gonna play all of them. Uh, just kidding, I'm gonna play all the fucking Zeldas, and you best bet I'm going to play all the Zeldas, because all the Zeldas are fucking awesome. So yeah, I'm definitely gonna play all the Zeldas for sure. That way I can make stupid dialogue, and make meme compilations out of all of them, because I know how much people like those. By the way, I recently got the Ocarina of Time compilation done, so it's up on YouTube if any of you guys wanna watch it. There's some funny shit in there. Good to see someone playing this game. Yeah, dude, I love this game. I grew up with this game. 
Um, I actually grew up with the N64 gauntlet when I was a kid, and then a Dark Legacy came out, and then I got Dark Legacy, and then I figured out Dark Legacy was like a remake of the N64 one, uh, with some new realms and a few changes. So, I used to come home from school and play this with friends and shit, like when we would have like sleepovers and stuff like that, when I still did that stuff as a kid. And uh, I had a lot of fun with this game. I can't tell you how many times I've finished this game, probably about like 15 or 20 at least. Like literally like 15 or 20. But uh, yeah, if you want an idea of what I typically play, I typically play like horror games and uh, platformers and stuff like that. Uh, I tend to play a lot of games with heavy dialogue in them, so I can make stupid memes and like funny jokes out of all the dialogue. And stuff like that, so I love stuff like that. Search carefully the pit below, yeah. Search carefully the chest that has a bomb in it that you don't want to get hit by because it'll be very detrimental to your health. The first one I actually beat was A Link Between Worlds. I've never played any of the top-down Zeldas, like the SNES ones, and I've not really played any of the mobile ones for, like, DS and, uh, for Game Boy or anything like that. I never got into those ones. I grew up with Majora's Mask and Ocarina of Time, so I'm kind of impartial to the 3D Zeldas. And I like them a lot. And, uh, I can't imagine Zelda in any other way, but I can't appreciate, like, the beginning of Zelda and what its roots are and how it started and how what like Zelda became due to those games you know what I mean it's just they're, they're not my style like I can't play those ones I'm not a big fan of top-down games I just I can't do it oh my god how many fucking evil trees are there you think with everybody fucking the planet's ecosystem out of order there wouldn't be as many evil trees as there are but apparently trees are evil Maybe a manufacturing corporations were right. Maybe we should cut down all the trees. Uh, maybe we should stay away from the giant eagle thing that shoots lightning and uh, the explosive barrel guy. This is not going to go well, I imagine. Yeah, maybe I should take all the enemies out first before I fight the giant eagle with lightning power. Dude, that is one cheeky spider trying to walk all the way around the circle, come hit me from the other side. Now I just gotta sit here and spam him until he dies, or I die, but I have 3,000 health, unfortunately, for this thing. I don't think he can hit me with the breath either from there, so that's good news. Please die. Yes. Do I have speed, by the way? Oh, there we go, now we can go to the other side of the, uh, realms, pretty much, and see what else is over there, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, there we go, I do have speed. Sick. What's up, Rosie? Welcome back. Which version am I playing on? I'm playing uh, the GameCube version on Dolphin Emulator. And uh, I don't mind emulating this because I've bought this game literally like three or four times. Like, no joke. Just because this game is so fucking awesome. Well, let me turn on speed and make sure I get the Tigress. I think this is Tigress. I'm not sure, I don't remember exactly, but the ice one is pretty rough. Um. The desert one is, like, one of my most hated ones, because I always fuck that one up. But, uh, like I said, if you want to do these, always have, like, a speed thing. Um, the one in the dream world for unlocking, um... What is it? The Jester's alternate? I think is actually not that bad. Dolphin Emu's really close to hard copy. Yeah, I've noticed. It's really, really accurate. Like, it's almost, like, 10 out of 10 material. Um... I haven't noticed any, like, major graphics or anything like that, like any fuck-ups or any, like, weird glitches or fucked-up textures or anything like that. And, uh, it runs pretty damn smooth, so. Yeah, what's up, Rosie? How's your day going? Welcome, by the way. Hopefully your day is going well. And, uh, never feel bad for not being here. Because I'm always, uh, sure that people have more important shit to do than to sit here and watch me ramble and play a video game, so. I do love this game, though. Like I said, I, I can't even, like, think of how many times I've played and beaten this game. Like, at least 20, I want to say. At least 20. Because I know I've gotten every character to level 99, and that's just casually. And, uh, none of the characters really differ, and I think that's my only, like, gripe with this game, is none of the character classes really make a difference, because they're all, like, ten points off from each other in this particular stat. So, I feel like if they were to give the characters more individuality, like, with different playstyles and shit in a new gauntlet... See, what I want them to do is I want them to make a gauntlet for Switch. Like, a gauntlet like this. For Switch. 
That way you could play it like on the go, you could play it cooperatively, you could play it with friends. You could just set your Switch up in your house and like have everybody play it all at once together, it'd be really fucking sweet. And then you'd have the online capability as well, so you could just be doing a random playthrough and then have like random people join you up to four people at a time. And just like do a playthrough of Gauntlet, and that'd be sick. Normally here for the funnies? Yeah, you mean the uh, terrible attempts at trying to be funny? Oh my god, dude, no. Please quit assaulting me, that's not very nice. I know I hit you first, but that's not the point. You should be the bigger person, alright? And I don't mean bigger person because you're a golem. I mean bigger person as in morally, as in you shouldn't hit me back, you should just let me kill you. Yeah, Gauntlet for Switch would be tight. Yeah, it totally would be tight. Oh yeah, also, uh, Boyo, like, what I tend to do for my humor is I make a lot of pedophilia jokes, which I probably shouldn't make. And, um... I kind of just make bullshit out of, like, whatever dialogue I have available. And, uh, sometimes it turns out really funny. Like, uh, basically for Ocarina of Time, I made all the re-deads named Uncle Dave. And Uncle Dave is that uncle that gets a little bit too touchy-friendly with you at your fifth birthday party in the closet away from your parents. So basically every time a re-deck grabbed me, he turned into Uncle Dave. So, uh, that's kind of how Ocarina of Time went for the most part. So, uh... Like, if you're wondering what kind of humor you can expect here, that's pretty much how it goes. Uh, there's also far too many sex jokes, because I'm immature, and I'm totally, like, free to admit that. I'm 25 years old, and I have nothing better to do other than to play video games and make totally raunchy humor out of nothing. Would you spiders die, please? It's not eight-legged freaks, although it might be. But if it is, I'm gonna be in big trouble. This tree is not gonna give up, is he? Oh god, that's a really evil looking tree. He's way bigger and spikier than these idiots. Oh nice, I gained a level, that's pretty sweet. So I think when I hit level 60, I wanna say it is, my bird gets an upgrade. So uh, I think the projectile from my bird gets stronger and the bird changes appearance a little bit. But I think that's all it is, really. Full transparency, I run this game and I saw you playing this game, so I had to see. Oh, well thank you for coming by, that's really, uh, it's really nice. I'm always humbled when people want to spend their uh, valuable time coming here and listening to me ramble and bitch about stuff. Yes, the bird does get bigger, luckily for us. If only we got bigger, if we got bigger, everything would be decimated, pretty much. Also, I do find it a little bit ironic that I'm a knight with an axe and I'm chopping down trees. It's a little bit funny, right? Okay, so I think there's a lot of gold down here if you have the keys available. And I do have the keys available. So I'm going to see how much stuff I can make from down here. Isn't there an important thing in this level, or is that in a different level? The scimitar is not in this level, is it? I can't remember. No, I think the scimitar is in the next level. I could be wrong, though. I know there's only one runestone in this realm, and I already got it, so I'm not really worried about that. Yeah, it is in the next level, thank Christ. Nothing important in this level? Yeah. My memory kind of just kicked in. It's the next level that the scimitar is in. That's how you know I know my shit. Well, the secret character isn't really that important. The secret characters only start out with, like, slightly better stats, but it's not really worth, like, starting a brand new character if you already have a character that's, like, pretty burly. I need to start buying food. That way I can, like, maintain my health. Congratulations! You now have enough golden eagle feathers to enter the East Wing. Yeah, because we're going to have to fight the spider bitch here soon, and I want to make sure I have enough health for that. Because I don't want to have to grind off screen again to be able to go kill bosses. Also, we still have to fight the chimera, because the chimera is a piece of cheating shit. And uh, I don't know what it is about the GameCube version, but sometimes you can't use some of your items. Whoops, I skipped that cutscene. Accidentally. My bad. It was nothing important, just a scimitar that's going to uh, decapitate the chimera that I'm talking about being such a pain in the ass. Nothing really major. Don't worry, we are getting the scimitar so we can go fight the chimera because I'm really pissed at the chimera for fucking cheating. Because I had invulnerability and the game would not let me use it, and I don't know why. So uh, the chimera pretty much killed me, so I had to like reset. Because uh, 
I always have this thing where I underestimate the power of the bosses in this game, and I always think, oh, I have enough health, or I have enough shit, and then, like, sometimes I just get bodied. And I'm just like, okay, maybe I wasn't as prepared as I thought. I also waste all my keys on bomb chests, by the way, because I don't know any better. The inventory has a cap at 10. Oh, I see. So you basically have to use your items to be able to, like, use your other items? I never knew that. Okay. Yeah, see, you really know your shit about this game. I've beaten this game, like, 15 or 20 times, and I still have some questions regarding certain things. Uh, in the PS2 version, I know that you can sell all your gear and stuff like that for extra money. Like, whatever you don't want to use, and I prefer that over, uh, being able to turn items on and off. So it's like, if you activate an item and you kind of activate it and you use it for its purpose and it, like, kind of outlives its usefulness and then goes away or whatever, that's fine, but I'd rather have the ability to sell the stuff I don't want to use and get way more money. That way I can upgrade my character sooner. That way I can get my strength up to 999 and my speed up to 999. Pale crystals and fierce generals mark an ancient and sacred hollow. Yeah, I bet they do. Just like his, uh, bone sickle is making a, uh, hollow indentation in my spinal cord. So thank you very much for that, Mr. Dinosaur Man. Please fuck off. Please fuck off. I don't like how they do that, too. They always block your fucking special. Pain in the ass. Just once, I want to hit them with that. Like, when they're not blocking. And just, like, knock the shit out of them. Nice. No more spiders. I am kind of a, an arachnophobe, so I'm not a big fan of spiders. I'm also not a big fan of eight feet tall lizard men with spiked clubs and other dangerous weapons. Also not a fan of uh, poisonous floor traps, by the way. Or arrows to the face. There's a lot of shit that wants to kill you in this game. Ow. Oh shit, I thought I had my big special. How the fuck do I get onto this log? I know there's a way up here, I just don't know how to get up here. Damn, alright. I guess I'll ignore it for now. You guys got lucky that I'm stupid, and I don't know how to get up there. Oh no, it's fine, I don't mind backseating at all, especially if I ask. Like, <laughs> I don't mind that at all. I'm not one of those streamers that gets super upset about it. I only get slightly annoyed when people tell me obvious shit. Like, when I'm playing Dark Souls and people are like, oh, just block more, it's like, yeah, shut up. Troubles lie ahead for those who find their keyring empty. Well, what is my keyring at? Five? Alright. Maybe we won't have as many troubles as the game uh, states that we'll have. If you use a slow attack on the generals first, that will prompt them to guard. Oh, like a, uh, like one of those. Spooters are so cute. Yeah, you take that back. There's only one cute spooter. And that's Ragnara from Monster Musume. She's a very sexy Spooter. Sexy Spooters are fine. That was an heroic effort. Yeah, the only the only streamers I really dislike are the ones that like get really bitchy at people for backseating, because like a little bit of backseating never hurt anybody. Unless it's somebody spoiling the game. If it's somebody spoiling the game for you, I can understand getting pissed off at that. But if it's just somebody trying to help you, I don't understand like what's so like difficult about that. Because they're just trying to help, but like if they're sitting there, like, giving you endless advice, like, oh yeah, block this and then jump over this or whatever and not letting you learn stuff, that's kind of frustrating. But if it's just like, yeah, if, if, if you do this or whatever and then this happens and this causes this or whatever, or if there's, like, a dialogue path or something that's like... Like, for, for example, my buddy Bane was playing through Sekiro Shadows Die Twice um, the other day, and uh, he got up to uh, one of the bosses, and there's an important dialogue choice. And, uh, one of the people in the chat was like, oh, don't choose the wrong one. And then, uh, Bane is one of the kind of people that I admire, where he'll specifically spite people that tell him what to do. And he'll do the exact opposite of what they tell him to do, just to fuck with people. Because he doesn't like it when people do that, and it's really annoying for him. So, um, I found it really funny, because what he did is he ended up, uh, choosing the bad decision on purpose, and that kind of ended the game right there. And then, uh, the dude that told him what to do in chat got really pissed off, and he was like, Why did you do that? Like, that was the thing I told you not to do. And I was like, Do you know this guy at all? He will do the exact opposite of what you tell him to do. You should have faith in him to pick whatever he wants, even if it's not the thing you want, it's his playthrough. You know what I mean? So, 
I just found it kind of funny that he likes to do that to fuck with people, because I kind of do the same thing to a lesser degree. Like, excessive backseating is super fucking annoying, especially if it's something that I know. But, if it's something I don't know and people are, like, trying to make sure I have a little bit of an easier time with it or something, or if it's just something like... For, for example, there's a certain boss in Sekiro that you have to use an item on, and I was under the impression that it was a form of cheesing the boss, so I didn't want to use it, right? Because I don't like cheesing things. Like, I like genuine difficulty in my games, and I like the struggle, and I like being good enough to be able to progress and succeed and, like, see the rest of the game. And I was kind of hoping for that with Sekiro, and then, um... I was under the impression that using a particular item would have cheesed the boss, so I didn't use it. But apparently that enemy is specifically made just for that item to be used on. And nobody told me. And then it made that made it far more frustrating. Because I was doing, like, no damage to the boss, and I thought that was just like... Oh yeah, you could fight it cheesing it using this item or whatever, but that makes it no fun. So I was under the impression that... I shouldn't use this item, right? And, uh... I just- I did it again on my second playthrough, and it, it was a lot easier because I used the item that I refused to use before. And, uh, that's actually how you're supposed to fight that particular mini-boss or whatever. So it's like, I've never really minded backseating. Unless it's a game I really know. If it's a game I really know, like... I, I can tolerate it for a while, but if it's, like, something that I'm super familiar with and then people are trying to tell me how it works, it's like, yeah, dude, I know. So, I have this joke that I do with games that I'm, like, super familiar with. Whenever somebody, like, tries to tell me what to do, or they're like, it, it's better if you do this. And I'm like, oh, th thanks for all the help, blah, 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 blah. And then, uh, like, the next time they do it, I'm gonna be like, oh, you mean the boss that does this attack and you avoid it by doing this and using this character and then swapping to this and then you use this move and then you go underground to avoid this and then it does this and then at 40 health it does this. And just making them shut the fuck up because they realize that I know exactly what the fuck I'm talking about. Just to, like, see them kind of be, like, appalled at how much I know it. Just, like, as a funny. And, like, sometimes I screw with people like that and it's hilarious. Yeah, they never see it coming, it's super funny. It's like I act like I don't know what I'm doing at all. And then, um, they try and backseat me more. And then I'm like, Oh yeah, you mean the part where you go to this level, and then after that level you go to this level, and then you see this NPC, and then this NPC gives you this, and then you use this to do that, and then you have to use this ability to get around this, and then do that. Why do you always come out when I have no potions, death, you fucking asswipe? I know you have no potions. Not going to be able to shoot me away with show of willpower. Alright, well, I'll go find a potion and I'll come back and fuck your ass up. How about that? Couldn't have been a potion, could you, Turbo? No, of course not. Have I been up here? Yeah, I've been up here. This is where the archers are, isn't it? Where's my fucking scimitar? I know the scimitar is in a tree somewhere, but I don't remember exactly where it is. Yeah, I know Red Death only takes 100 health, and then the Black Death uh, drains a level. You think the Black Death would, like, kill you entirely because it's, uh, the Black Death, but it doesn't do that. Yeah, in a hitless run, yeah, you should just block. Even though blocking in a hitless run counts as a hit because it's a hit you otherwise would have taken if not for blocking, so. Yeah, just suck me dry, Death. Thank you very much. Actually, maybe I can run up here and find a potion. Well, I mean, the Black Death was a disease that was spread through rodents and vermin that, like, basically wiped out a very massive percentage of, like, an entire population of people. So, yeah, you think it would kill people, but apparently it doesn't. I'm not leaving here until I get that goddamn scimitar. I don't know where it is, but I want it. I can go sell it to the guys at, uh... What's that one pawn shop show? Shit. There goes my joke. So I'm not very smart. Uh, I can't remember. Alright, whatever, fuck it. Yeah, I'll find it too. I'm very, uh, I'm very tenacious. Hey, look, a potion. Now we can go, uh, say hello to death. With our newfound power. Our beaker full of green magic juice that'll tell death to fuck off, pretty much. It's not up there, that's just a dead end, so what the fuck? What's up, Josh? Welcome to Gauntlet Dark Legacy. 
a game that I played um, a little bit too much as a child because I loved it so much. Oh, dude, Death was confused as fuck. He's trying to suck the life out of that broken house. Poor guy. How are you doing today, Josh? Pleasure to see you as usual. How did uh, how did Mercy's art go? Did he finish up or did he uh, kind of put it away for today? Because I went to go see his progress on it because I had to go and do something for a little bit and I wanted to see uh, how it came out. And then he wasn't on when I got back. Do not leave until the vicious beast has been slain. Well, where the fuck is the- Oh, Nice. Did you know Black Death is still being spread to this day? Yeah, well I highly doubt scientists are going to be able to find a cure for something called the Black Death, right? Sounds a little bit too, uh, too severe to be able to be cured with a little bit of, a uh, well wishes and, uh, a little bit of money. He didn't finish, he was hungry and needed to take a break. Couldn't get the skin color just right. Yeah, that sounds about art. Art's a pain in the ass sometimes, it really is. It takes a lot of patience and a lot of willpower, that's why I don't draw very much. I draw sometimes when I'm like really feeling bored, but like other than that, I usually like spend my time playing video games. Or uh, watching hentai, because I'm a loser. Please die. How much health do you guys have? Like 300? Some shit like that. Fuck off. Somebody should really revoke your lightning breath privileges because you do not use them responsibly at all. Ooh, bananas. That's not bad. For a random chest, that's pretty sick. I'll take some bananas. Anything over here? Yeah, gold. Brilliant. Wait, why did it tell me not to leave until the vicious beast has been slain? There's no hidden wall over there, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. So what What was the point of that? It was just for a golden feather that I don't need? Because I already have all the golden feathers? I have one more key, but I should probably save it and not spend it on this chest in case I need it to get to the scimitar. I don't know where the fuck the scimitar is. I know it's in a tree, I just don't know where the tree is. Also, I hope I can uh, find a doctor and make sure I have a doctor on hand for all these uh, spikes and trees I'm going to take. And all these uh, poison vent traps and saw blades and shit like that. Uh, Boyo, what did you think of the new gauntlet, by the way? The uh, PC one, the 2017 one. Because uh, I thought it was dog shit. I bought it for like 20 bucks and I was very disappointed. There's only like three bosses in it, and they were all pretty garbage. No, it's not in there. I swear to god, it's in a tree. It's in a tree near an elevator, that's all I remember. I just don't know how to get to it, or where it is. I will find it though, I swear. I will find it. RNG levels make you sad. Maybe this is the elevator I'm thinking of. I don't think it is, though. Oh, is, did I really miss something that stupidly obvious? I did. What a loser. What a fucking loser, dude. No wonder I can't find it. Oh, this must be a hidden wall, then. Wait, that's not a hidden wall? Ah. Ah, there it is. Fuck yeah. Backtracking, hell yeah. If only I was smarter, I wouldn't have to backtrack, but there you have it. It wouldn't be me if uh, I didn't have to, right? Alright, so I go up here, and then I go across the trees, and then I go back down, and then scimitar, and then I come back? Question mark? Yeah, me and my buddy played through the uh, new gauntlet, we were not very impressed. This weapon will ease your task of slaying the Castle Chimera. Yeah, because the Castle Chimera hacks like a pussy. And uh, it doesn't let you use your invulnerability on it. And it does absurd damage when you only have like 2,000 health max, which sucks. Hopefully we'll be able to kill it though with all the health that I have, because I still do have to slay the Chimera. And uh, we gotta fight the Spider Queen as well, so maybe I shouldn't fight two bosses back to back. But I don't know what boss will be easier, the Spider Bitch or the Chimera. 
The thing about the spider bitch is she's really fast. But the chimera is like kind of stationary. And it just kind of chills and you shoot shit at it until it dies, pretty much. Mm, I could use the hammer on the spider bitch for some invulnerability time, I guess. And some D DPS, but... Yeah, I think we'll fight the spider bitch. I can probably take the spider bitch with about 3,000 health, I think. Maybe. I can't remember how much damage the spider bitch does, to be honest. Maybe I should go get some money. Actually, you know what? We'll fight the chimera because I have the weapon for the chimera, but I don't have the weapon for the spider queen yet. So originally I wanted to do this game in linearity where like I go from realm to realm and I fight the boss when I get to it, but uh, sometimes it's not really doable in Gauntlet because sometimes you just don't have the shit available really. I'm gonna save real quick. Just in case I do end up dying to the stupid spider bitch. Or the uh, chimera. So the chimera honestly might still kick my ass. Yeah, I think that music's a tad bit racist, just because it's a forest realm. It's kind of fucked up. Okay, so weapon will help me against the chimera. Acid breath won't really do anything. I don't think the hammer's gonna help that much either. Uh, speed is not gonna help. Yeah, I think weapon is the only thing that's gonna really do me any good. Also, I can't remember which one it is, but, like, it's either the PS2 version or the GameCube version where you can get all of, uh, Scoring's gear instead of just one thing. But, uh, having, like, infinite Scoring gear is pretty sick. Alright, come on, you cheating pussy. Let's see how you deal with my Scimitar. Uh, Scimitar. Scimitar? What the fuck? Uh... Okay, that's definite hacks, dude. I told you the Chimera is a hacking piece of shit. Look at that. Did you see that? The scimitar just disappeared out of existence. Good shit, dude. I love it. I fucking hate this game. Why did they do this to me? Although I, th I think I have the health to tank him, so if I can tank him, we'll be alright. Yeah, scimitar was a joke. Yeah, no shit. So the scimitar is supposed to cut off the lion head, so you have one less thing shooting at you, but uh, the scimitar decided to take a vacation and not work, so that's cool. But like I said, I think I have the health to tank him, and the chimera should give me about, like, what is it, six grand? Seven grand? Yeah, because I think the plague fiend gives you nine grand, and then the spider bitch gives you eleven grand, I think. I could have that slightly off, I'm not sure though. In short, we can buy health if we beat the Chimera, so it shouldn't really be a problem. Although the less damage I take, the better, and uh, this thing is not really being very cooperative. Please go fuck yourself, Chimera. You are such a piece of trash. I did use my special, but never mind. Fuck me. Is the Chimera actually gonna kill me? Does Fire Breath really not do anything? Well, take the Fire Breath off, dickhead! This is bullshit. Well, no shit! What the fuck? Sure, game. Whatever you say, dude. So the scimitar doesn't work and I die? Okay. I guess. Alright. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, that's not fair. I'm not gonna lie, that's cheating fucking game, honestly. That's not my fault. I, I don't know what happened, dude. That's not my fault. There's nothing wrong that I did.
There's nothing incorrect that I did. It's just supposed to work. Okay, this this is definitely garbage. I, I don't know what the fuck this game's problem is, but it's definitely broke. It's definitely broke. That's not how that works. I don't know how close the Chimera was to dying, but that's kind of not my fault. Like, I, I literally don't know what to say about that. That was not my fault at all. That was kind of bullshit. That's cool, though. I don't care. I'm just more annoyed that I have to fucking sit here and fight the prick again. I thought I'd be able to tank him and out-damage him, but I guess not. Because apparently the Chimera has, like, a retard amount of health. Fuck off, dude. I was miles away from that. Okay, everybody point at the Chimera and call it a big cheater, because it's a big cheater. I don't think there's anything in those stone blocks either. That's the shitty thing, because I don't think there's any power-ups in those. And none of my power-ups are going to help me for DPS against this thing. I don't know what's better to use the strong slow attack or the quick light attack, so... Um, maybe we need a little bit more health to be able to kill the Chimera, but... If I die again, whatever. Because this is honestly just fucking stupid. The scimitar is supposed to work, and I don't know why it isn't. Like, that's the second time that the scimitar has failed, so maybe it's just glitched or something, I don't know. The javelin worked on the plague fiend, so I don't understand why the fucking scimitar wouldn't work on the camera. That doesn't really make any sense to me. Oh, good shit. Thanks. I don't know how the fuck you're supposed to dodge that triple guy through there. It's kind of broke. Please die, dude. Please die. Yeah, so you can't dodge it, you can't run away from it, so I don't know what they want. Y you can't outrun it, dude. Y you just can't. Oh, thank god. Fuck me, 179 health? Jesus Christ. Fuck me, that was rough. Wow. Okay. Yeah, seven grand. I was right on the money. No, I think I said six grand. Close enough. Yeah, I, I don't know what to tell you. That is not my fault. That is literally the game being broken. I know I'm emulating it, so you can't really expect perfection, but that that's not my fault. You can't blame me for that. You can't blame me for that. That, that is genuinely not my fault. Yep, let's spend all our money on health. Yay! Great. Okay, cool. No, it doesn't happen on hard copy. I've never had that happen before, ever. I've literally never had that happen to me. That is the first time I've ever fucking seen that. It's okay, though. Memes are fine. I can put it in the compilation. The compilation for this is not going to be very long. It's not that long of a game, really. And there's not really much dialogue jokes you can make out of this game just because of the uh, type of game that it is. So uh, yeah, fuck fighting the Spider Queen directly after that. That was a bitch. The Chimera was really, really rough. Your quest to recover all eight shards that restore the entrance to the desecrated temple. <laughs> Red Knight is about to die. It's like, well yeah, if the scimitar would actually work, maybe I would have a little bit better of a chance, don't you think? A little bit ridiculous. That's okay though. I'm just kind of pissed that I went out of my way to backtrack to get the scimitar and then it ended up not working anyway. That's kind of dog shit. I kind of super heavily disagree with that, but now we get to go to the desert realm, so that's cool. Oh no, we don't get to go to the desert realm because I don't have enough crystals, apparently, even though I'm pretty sure I do, but I guess not. Is there a way I can check how many crystals I have? I'm missing four? Fuck off. I have to go do another forest level just to be able to get into the fucking god damn it dude. <clears throat> that sucks ass. 
Actually, none of the forest levels are quick. Where can I get some quick yellow crystals? I don't think there's any in the first mountain level. I think those are all, like, ones for the castle. Mm, I'll just go do another forest level. That's a pain in the ass, though. That really sucks. Uh, I don't know which one is the quickest. Because this is the swamp, and then that's the branches, and then this is... No. Swamp, something, root, branches, and then boss. Let's do the first fucking level again. That really sucks. I don't know why they construct Gauntlet like that. Like, they kind of do it in a way where you can't... ...get enough crystals to be able to, uh, get to the next realm. Unless you, like, replay the levels, which is kind of stupid, but whatever. There were a few yellow crystals that I never nabbed, so... I guess I can understand, seeing as I'm missing only four. I'll just kind of try and speed through this level as quick as possible, but I'm gonna pick up all the health I see. Because I'm so sick of having to spend money on health to fucking compensate for the amount of damage the bosses take. Because that's, that's pretty insane. Like, the, the Chimera literally fucking cheated two times in a row, so I, I don't know what to tell you there. The Chimera is just a fucking dirty, filthy cheater. And I don't like the Chimera very much, and we're not on very good terms, and the Chimera's gonna have to do a lot to make it up to me. I don't know what that general's stuck on, but I'm glad he's stuck. That'll save me some health. Oh, never mind, now he's not stuck, shit. Good stuff. Thanks, champ. Nice debate, dude. Thanks for the apple, though. That makes up for it. Seeing as how I was kind of cheesing him, I don't know why he was stuck, but I'm glad he was. Yeah, like, I, I literally don't know what to tell you about the Chimera. That was not my fault. That was genuinely not my fault. Could you guys let me pass? It's like a fucking college initiation when they're just like putting me through the ringer. There are a whole bunch of frat boy dinosaurs. Lizard men. I don't know what they are. Please fuck off. Please fuck off. Please let me kill your house. You little spider bastards. Okay, save all your potions for death just in case, because death is a prick. Yeah, iframes, thank you, cutscene. Get fucked, Vine. What is this? Break. Cherry, nice. Twenty gold, yeah. So we had to spend it all on health. Just goes to show you, no matter how big you think your axe is, if you fight a chimera, you're probably gonna have a bad time. Let's see if I can fire this through the Nice, perfect. I thought that went up in the air for a minute, I was gonna say. I kind of heavily disagree with that, but alright. Don't. I'm not a 15-year-old Japanese schoolgirl, please stay away, Vine. Tentacle, whatever the fuck you are. Oh, come on, fuck off. It's okay, fill me with arrows, that's fine. I can be one of those little voodoo dolls as long as I break those guys' house. Good stuff. No, with the bombs. Boys. Yeah, I guess I might as well keep acid on for the extra damage. Might as well. I feel like I didn't hit this before. I must have just missed that switch for some reason. Because I'm done. Come on, is that really necessary? You could just open the door. It's not Legends of the Hidden Temple. Olmec isn't going to go, In the Shrine of the Silver Monkey. Just open the fucking door, please. Showing my age there, if you remember that show, Legends of the Hidden Temple. That was good shit when I was a kid. A meal? Fuck's sake, dude. How could I allow myself to miss out on a fucking meal? That's 500 health right there. Could've used one of those meals during the fucking Chimera fight, but no. Unfortunately, you don't get any room service when you're battling a giant Chimera on top of a castle rooftop. Please stop shooting arrows at me. 
There we go, now we have enough desert crystals, so now we can ignore all the other crystals, thank god. I'm still gonna pick up ice crystals and black crystals though, but the yellow crystals can uh, fuck off now. So I think the desert realm is my favorite realm in this entire game, and that's just purely because I love Egyptian mythology and shit like that. And I really love, like, all the structure work, like, of all the statues of, like, Anubis and, like, uh, Horus and, like, um, there's a few others. I can't remember their names right now. There's, like, a raven head god, and I can't remember what its name is for whatever reason. No lizard people. Stop. Stop! Game, come on, dude. Oh, nice. I'll take all that. What does Health Vampire do? I don't remember what that does. Is that like whenever I kill enemies, I get health back? Nope. Okay. I, I have no idea what that does, if I'm being honest. I don't think I ever figured that out. I mean, I assume it drains health from stuff, but I don't know how. Please fuck off and die, you orange lizard folk. I know that's a little bit racist for me to come into your swamp and tell you guys to die and call you orange lizard folk, but I don't know what else to call you. Oh, shite. Nice shot, dude. Love how it was, like, nowhere near me. That was near me, though. Because I got floored. That's what I get for talking shit to a fucking gargoyle. That's exactly what you get. Physical assault, a gash across your chest, and a whole lot of disappointment. Fuck off. Dude, could you stop with the bombs, maybe? I am fighting a giant gargoyle, maybe I have enough problems at the moment, don't you think? No, apparently not. You just had to die after you ruined my fucking perfect 3,100 health, didn't you? Ass wipe. Okay, and then I believe, if I remember right, I think the desert realm is full of white crystals, so we can go to the uh, frozen realm after the, uh, after the uh, desert realm. And I want to get the desert realm done today, but I think the boss of the desert realm is a giant pain in the dick if you do not have... Uh, the lamp from the, um, Ice Realm. I think it's a lamp? Let's see, what is there? The Lantern of... Devastation or something like that, I want to say? The Scimitar of Decapitation, what else is there? The lamp has a name, and I forgot what it's called. Like, all the, all the special things have... a title. Like, there's the Legendary Ice Axe, there's the Javelin of Blinding, and then... I, I can't remember what the fuck the lamp is called. Just, I can't. It's not coming to memory, for whatever reason. X-ray glasses will be nice. That way I don't waste all my keys. He says as he only has two keys, because he's wasted all his keys on stupid shit that he didn't need to use his keys on. What the fuck was the point of that? Is there a switch or something, or was that just, like, a useless key use? Wait, 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 wait. There's a way to get up here, I just don't remember how. Oh, there we go. That answered my question, didn't it? That pondering was very short-lived. Oh. Alright, well that answers that question, too. I wish I moved quicker. That'd be nice. Could get all these levels done a little bit faster. Could you please fuck off? Yeah, I don't need to listen to the scroll, because it's probably full of shit anyway, thank you. I want to save this potion just in case death comes. Where do you think you're going, you little shit? Don't think I didn't see you. I most certainly did. Yeah, see, that's why you never become a suicide bomber. There's nothing to gain. Everything to lose. Please fuck off. Have you ever wondered how so many big dudes fit in one hut? 
of that size. I mean, even the dudes that come out of the hut are bigger than the hut itself, so how do they fit like 50 dudes in one hut? It's pretty impressive, right? Please get off. Yeah, please die, dude. Taking all my nice health that I earned. And I do need to fight the Spider Queen here. Very soon. Although if the Chimera was that bad, I can only imagine the Spider Queen is going to be a hell of a lot worse. So maybe it's not a smart idea to fight the Spider Queen immediately. Stop throwing the bombs, dude. Hopefully that's the only time Summoner's gonna ever have to say Red Knight is about to die, by the way. Like I said, I've only ever died in Gauntlet like maybe two times, and it's usually because I underestimate the bosses, and that's exactly what I was talking about. Like sometimes I underestimate how much damage the bosses are capable of doing, and the amount of time they're capable of doing it. And it gets me fucking killed sometimes. Fuck me. You guys just love to beat up on poor little old me, don't you? There's like 8,000 of you and there's like one of me. So I highly doubt that's a very fair matchup. Who would win 8,000 orange lizard warriors with highly skilled training of brutal weaponry? Or one red nighty boy? My money is bet on the uh, 8,000 lizard men with a uh, weapon training. That's another gate I didn't need to open, isn't it? Fuck. I'm very bad at that. I just don't pay attention, really. Oh, fuck off, dude. What's stabbing me? That's painful. It really hurts my feelings when you stab me with your sharp spears. Ah, poison apple bed. Do I look like Snow White to you? I don't think so. How do I get back? Can I not get back? Well, there's gotta be a way to get back. That doesn't make any sense. Can I break one of these statues? What? How do I get back? Uh... Much confuse? Much confuse? Oh, I see. Thank Christ. Thought I was gonna be on that island forever. Don't. Is this the end of the level? Fuck yeah, it is. Stop. Stop. Don't you think they ever had, like, higher ambitions in life rather than being a giant, like, warrior that, like, cuts people down with a fucking bone scythe? Probably not. Wonder if their parents are happy with their life choices? I'm gonna have a drink of Coke both out. You're welcome, Coca-Cola, by the way. Small brain, small eyes. Because I can't see. Because I'm dumb. I can afford another key. I can afford another key. Oh, no, I can't. I can't do math either, by the way. I can't see and I can't do math. Two things I'm incapable of. Right now, we can go check out the deserty realm. Congratulations. You now have enough crystals to enter the desert lands. The desert lands is also a little bit, uh... Culturally appropriating. Because there's pyramids and there's coffins and, like, mummies and shit. 